send me blessings on card. Hi everyone, welcome to another Girls Africa meeting. Um and I'll be the facilitator and your blessing for this thing or for facilitating with <laughs> our baby that is the <laughs> junior facilitator. I'm trying yes. to try. Okay. So I, I think the question today is have you shared the agenda item? E, the, yes. The meeting notes, I mean, right? Yeah, the meeting yeah. notes. Let me just put it again. So what movie what was the last movie you watched? I think the last one I watched yes yesterday. It was the um, I think it was a horror movie. I forgot the name of the invitation. I like, was the name. What's the hmm. last night? I've not seen a movie in a while, but I've been on this series, um, the blacklist. I'm currently trying to like complete the last season. So yeah. Okay. Past lives. I mean, I don't know. I still not what the action till today. Oh. Yeah, you guys watching Gossip Girl? What's what? Why? Why? Why are you think you should watch it again? Sorry, what did you see? Oh no! I, you asked about watching Gossip Girl, and you've given me an idea. You should watch it again. Yeah, you've watched it before, right? I've watched it like three times. And I'm wow, my oh my gosh, it's so good. My friend is watching it, so I'm also watching it the first time. So, yeah, it's gossip so good. Good. I want to watch, I think, uh, I want to watch Young Sheldon again. I don't know. And I prefer Young Sheldon to Big Bang Theory. I don't know if there are people on that spot. It's me. We should have a movie night. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe because Young I watched Sheldon is so hilarious and very, yeah, very exactly. interesting. Exactly. <laughs> I don't like Big Bang Theory. Like the laughter is unnecessary in Big Bang Theory for me, or maybe it's because it's old. Okay, um, Grace and Frankie. Is this Grace and Frankie on Netflix? Seems like I've heard about it before. Who is currently watching Succession? Yo, that's on my list. Thank you for reminding me. So good. Is it on Netflix? Uh, is it on Netflix? No, no, no. No, it's not on Netflix. Okay. I want to, I'll check out this Grace and Frankie. Seems like it's nice. She I don't you... know. Oh, sorry. I wanted to ask where it is on if it's not on Netflix. Mm. Um, I think that question was for Catherine. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Okay, um, probably can you answer in the chat. So, do you have any? I don't think we have any new from my here. Um, let me see. Everybody is. Oh, no, I see somebody. Jade Solaka. Jade Solaka, have you been in this meeting before? And even Jude, we'd love to introduce yourself and say hi. Where you're joining us from? Hi. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, you can sure. hear me. Yeah, okay. Hi, I'm Jadi Sola. Um, I'm from Nigeria. I'm currently based in Abuja. Um, yeah, this is my first time joining this meeting, but I joined the newcomer hangout thing, I think, earlier this month. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. So, yeah. Okay, what do you do? Uh, I'm, co- I'm a community manager at um, oh. a non-profit. Yeah. It's called the Free Freelance Coalition for Developing Countries. So yeah, Freelance Coalition for Developing Countries. That's cool. Yes. Um, yes. Do you people have like an open collective? I know recently I have been attending. Like maybe we'll have that conversation later. <laughs> let me not. Let mm-hmm. me not go. Go sure. elsewhere. This meet. But welcome and 
me too here. Um, Thank you. I didn't shoot. Um, I don't think I've met you before. Do you want to say hi? Hi, Jude. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Good. Hello, everyone. Um, please, my name is Jude. Okay, where are you joining um, us from? You do. I'm joining from Ghana. From where? Ghana, Ghana. Ghana, okay. What yeah. do you do? I'm a software engineer. Okay, that's great. Uh, Ahmad is also yeah. in Ghana. So maybe oh. you know Ahmad. Yeah. Ahmad oh, okay. stays in Ghana. Um, I see there are a lot of kid drama people here. <laughs> I mean, it's not said. Let me just keep going. Okay. Um. So today, our uh, our agenda is kind of very short. Um. So I kind of wanted to use it to kind of catch up on people what you're working on. It might not be chaos related, you know. Even how you're contributing to chaos. Um. Um. This kind of feedback help like connect us together and know different points where we align and even how we can help you so since we don't have like a lot on the agenda um i decided to like just put this in and um you know we can take turns or do we want to talk about what we actually have on the agenda for good there because i feel like that this conversation might extend so much so let me just push it down after we talk about um the two items, the two only items we have, and then we can now, you know, kind of catch up on what everyone is working on and how they are contributing to the chaos project. So even though you're new and you know how you want to participate or contribute, okay. So the for this topic, community managers engagement. I'll just give it to my blessing because um, if you are on the Africa Dash community managers group. Maybe let's not put up a conversation there about engaged people. A lot of times, like the Chaos Africa group is very like very silent. Um, only when like there are meetings and I drop like a reminder. It's not giving me my... <laughs> not on mute. Let me just try to mute the person. Uh, maybe the person has already muted. So like this conversation, I brought it up here um, so that we can you know, find ways to engage um, the channel and, you know, do other things, even for the community managers that are contributing to or in Chaos Africa, how they can engage. So maybe blessing, I don't know if you want to take this and maybe talk more about it and then we can have like the, that conversation. All right. Um, sure. Um, so the conversation is just been around uh, how we can move the focus group forward, right? Because um, again, we've been like really chilled for a while. <laughs> um, so the some of the focus group have been like even inactive, right? And um, there was this call we had, and we've been you know thinking of how to like revive some of this focus group, which the community managers group is like one of them. So um, I asked the question in uh, the, the focus group channel, and we had a few persons contribute, right? And um, pretty much what we're looking at now is to how to keep the Africa community engaged, right? And, uh, you know, so at the moment, we have a few ideas around, you know, if the cadence would be, say, weekly, daily, pretty much how we would want that to, um, um, the flow of that to go. Then what kind of engagement as well do we want to like push out for people to see? And we, we don't have a resolve yet. However, there are like suggestions around sharing things around the chaos project itself, right? Um, if there's anything happening within the chaos project itself, we could share within the Africa community for folks to be aware of, right? And things around open source in general as well, right? And um, we could also have, see, have frequent um, events, workshops, right? This could also be in collaboration with the communications um, 
focus group in Chaos Africa, and that would that be the social media team, really. Right? So maybe I have like a Twitter um, or rather X space, you know, just events, workshops, right, for folks um, to, you know, stay up to speed and what is happening within the open source space, right? Um, obviously, we could outsource speakers or even um, bring in members of the community. I, I think the letter would work so that, because um, because we have we have we have experts within the community, so it's just going to even make sense for uh, for for us to bring in people within the community. So if you are open to volunteer, to maybe speak on the topic you are um, focused on, right, or you are living in that space, um, you could always reach out to me and would. Would um have a discussion on that on how to like you know, move forward with that as well. Um, all right. I, I think so far that's where we've we've been right, and um, we're also looking at maybe also maybe like um, um the accountability body for African folks. This was a suggestion from Karen. Karen is on this call, and um, what we'll pretty much be doing is just checking in on folks. So if if you're interested in maybe community management and you'd like to join this focus so just head over to Chaos Africa slash um, or hyphen CM and you see the trend and you can just contribute to that, right? Because um, after this call now, we'll most likely take things forward and we, we will be seeing updates, right? As regarding that, even in the general um, Chaos Africa um, channel, right? Uh, so that's where we are odd now. So, like I said, if you're open to volunteering to speak on any specific topic, um, topics you know make sense and you would want people to um, know about, pretty much any knowledge you have you would like to share around open source, um, yeah, you could let me know and um, would we'll, we'll work around that. So, yeah, that's, that's where we are now. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Um, before I just like open it up to like people to kind of give ideas um on how we can move this forward. Something I wanted to note on is um sincerely speaking, um, a lot of times in the past we have tried to make the groups active and um the spice like what we the major issue or the major problem we encounter that makes things not go forward is that there's really no person to like nobody to or not like move the work forward like lead the group like for example i would give example from other focus groups like the design and the developers focus group like um in design you know king state is kind of you know leading the work there um in the developers focus group we got that one active um you know after just after the um chaos con that we held in june um Enoch and I think I know I've been working together and a lot of people have also been contributing in that regard. So my question to you, Mary Blessing, is um are you going to be the one leading that group? Um and do you need like help with people? Like what kind of help do you need to also move things forward there? Uh yeah, sure. So I think we've actually um we've actually had this conversation before and um, I have volunteered to do that. However, I cannot do it alone, obviously. So, if you're anyone interested in community management, or if you are a community manager, you can join in to help us. Um, you know, push this forward. Then, what kind of help I would need? Um, I think that was what what made me ask that question, right, initially on the group. So, um, based on what we have now, and maybe anything we gather from this call as well. Um, I could also go back to maybe work on a proper plan and share with everyone, then um, would pretty much move from there. So that's my question. Yeah, great. Um, I think I can go for it. I see your hand is raised. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. I was trying to figure out where my mute button is. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um. So I wanted to like second what you have been saying or what you said earlier, that 
I think we are lagging or maybe the, the focus groups are not active because there is a lack of vision for each focus group. So we don't have people like being um, leading the group or providing vision for the group, providing direction. And so um, in working with Enoch for the developers uh, focus group, I discovered that and I wanted to suggest that can we um, have people who maybe have some, um, who can commit, to this, this, we can't say that people have free time. Everybody has one thing or the other that they are doing. But people that who, are, who, who have um, decided that, okay, I'm going to take this thing upon myself to actually lead the group, provide direction, ask for what people are doing. So for instance, now I decided to do that for the, for the developers focus group. So I'm working alongside Enoch to say, okay, what's the next thing that we need to do for all the projects we have at hand? Let's even identify them. What are the projects? What are the needs for each of the projects? We discover we'll be needing, needing maintainers for each of the projects um, that we have, especially the budget website, the budget board, and the board script. We need people in these areas that can say, okay, these are the needs for each of this project. These are the issues we are facing. Uh, who is interested in working with us on this issue. And then we now follow people up because I discovered that people take on tasks and they don't deliver on time. And it, it might not be their fault. They have other things they are doing. But if they have this accountability system, which I wasn't so sure of in the first place because you know it's an open source community and people are volunteering their time. So I needed to be sure that, okay, me following up on people, is it is it okay to say, oh, you said you're going to deliver this thing in the next two weeks. Is this okay if we can have it in two weeks? And then you follow people up. I think we'll get results faster than that. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with you, Adinka. And for just putting it out there that following up is totally fine. Like just giving them like a code message and saying, okay, um, are you still working on this? Or do you need help in some regard? Just, I, I think it's the way you position it or say it that makes it look, you know, polite and also you look know, like you're trying to force them to do it. Um, I know like for other focus groups, I had had a conversation with Elwes, you know, for the technical writers one. I'm seeing how we can probably get a blog. Um, I know posting, we can always cross post on the chaos blog, but kind of like maybe a hash note blog where we can, I've not had that conversation with the Elizabeth yet but where we can like write about open source topics and then people can pick up topics that they want to write about because then we do have people that are um, technical writers or, you know, writing up, have experience with open source. Um, so about moving back into like this community manager's discussion, you know, something out at least for a first step, right? Because um, I believe in, you know, little, little progress, right? And at the end of the day, like it takes time for people to, um, you know, get acquainted with something before they even become leaders, right? So I think a very small step or an improvement that I, I think I would love to see is maybe one one engagement post every week, just one. It can be an article. It can be just jumping in and knowing how people are faring, right? This is, and this, I'm saying this to my blessing and the team that she's going to set up and all that stuff, right? Like, even though it's just one post every week that can just, even though it's an opportunity share or something that can just engage people, like something that keeps the channel active, just at least once weekly, um, then we can now build up from there. And then um, maybe assigning different people to, okay, you are the one that's going to like post um, something this week instead of just one person, you know, posting every, every day. Because I think I find a lot of joy when I see other people that is not me posting something in the channel because like it now shows that yes, there are people contributing, there are people um adding to the work. So we can just share it. Okay. In this month of in this month of September, we have like four people. Um, maybe Mary Blessing will post for the first week, Yiga will post for the second week, or like just like that. So we can now keep building up on that progress. So I don't know if that also makes sense, Mary Blessing, and then to the rest of the group. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, so this is something that you can build up in like future meetings with um the group. Does anybody have like any more um additions to this conversation or questions or things? I see you have a lot of people that have um you know volunteered their interests. So 
I hope you're taking note of them. Okay, any more? Um, yeah, yeah, I just want to say something. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, sure, we yeah. can hear you. So um yeah I just want to commend May Blessing for her work on the for the um um dev group for the dev group but um but um uh, what do I want to say now um yeah for the time time frame for projects I, I feel like at times it's really short so she mentioned two weeks and I remember that the last one that um we like people worked on I didn't get a chance to work on it because like it was very very fast and um yeah maybe if we can spread it out maybe like um maybe four and um, four weeks or a month that, that would really go a long way to help us because a lot of people are trying to learn it's probably their first time or you know so they're trying to take on and so it may be a bit challenging for them to um, jump on and get it at once so maybe we can help spread it a bit I'm not sure. Did they, did you guys hear me? Hello. Yeah, yeah, we heard you. I oh, heard you. Yeah. Um, hi, Ahmed. Yes, yeah, sure. We did hear you. Um, I think Ruth lost connection, but oh, she's back. All right, great. So. What hi, Ruth. That's all casual to me. Hmm. God. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I didn't get what Ahmad said. It has that been sorted out or this question been answered? So the question he asked, um, I think so more like a request. talking about yeah, yeah, your request to maybe give time to to devs to work on their attacks, right, Ahmed? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if it could be a bit longer, so that's I know a lot of people are picking up different tasks very quickly, so it seems like there's nothing left for others to do. So, hello. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I this is Ade. Please, I, I want to understand what Hamad is saying. He's talking about devs, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. No, don't assume that the tasks have been taken up. There are a lot of tasks that we need people for. Oh really? Okay, that sounds like good news then. So, so I think I think what is missing is that um, uh, people have not been showing up for meetings actually, and so they don't even know what is going on. And if you don't know what is going on, you can't even know how to come in. So yeah, thank that's you for thinking about that. Sorry, sorry for because the last time, so I was trying to join the meeting, and I was making asking for how to join, but nobody. And so okay. I, I know the meeting started then. Okay. Yeah, so this is the calendar, right? So I'm just going to show this again to people, like, it's really even for these meetings, a lot of people miss out on it because, like, it's not in their calendar. And then, um, you know, you miss, if there's no reminder on the channel, you can't join the meetings. So if you go to this link and then you click on, like, you can see all the meetings that happen in, the chaos project like there are a whole lot here so you just have to either pick if you want to be so generous with your time and add the full calendar that's fine but you if you can just pick out the meetings that are specific to you like for example um i know that meeting happens every every tuesday right tuesday. And it shows up, yeah it shows up at 4 a.m here but it's not actually 4 a.m this time zone is in central time so that's why so you can just copy to your calendar right like that's the the dev meeting so you can just copy it to your calendar in my network okay and then you always have to click on this repeat weekly because it will just automatically um add that particular day right so when you make it a repeat weekly you can just like save it and then it's you know repeat change the it's time zone there. yeah it's there on your calendar if you know every day you wake up you just you know the list of meetings that you have to attend that day right and you know the commitment so you can easily and you can also change the time zone it will automatically save as your own calendar regardless if you change it or don't change it i think so let me see if i'll say something that is not correct <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, so you see, it, it changes, it automatically shows up as your time zone. So, right, so you know that, okay, this meeting is a meeting I have to attend to today. If it's in your calendar, you definitely remember, right? Even, for example, the Chaos Africa one, you can also copy to your calendar, same thing. But the the, the difference with this one is that it, it happens bi-weekly. So you have to, like, do a custom um and make it repeat every two weeks. Just put repeat every two weeks, done, and then save it. Right. So that's um, something that I think everybody should do so that it helps you attend the meetings that you care about, because during the meetings, I think is when a lot of conversations um, happen. So and also join the dev channel. So, yeah. So those are that's how I think for everybody, too, that wants to add these meetings to their calendars. So that's how you can do that. So, yeah, any more. Uh, I see Isaac, you Jacob, you raised your hands. I don't know if. Your question has yeah. been asked. Um, not the totality. Um, so I I was asking. I've discussed with N of before. Uh, and and I, I miss one of the Tuesday meeting, and ever since then I've not been really following on the website. And I mm -hmm. I really want to contribute to that because I write the uh, React for front end, so I wanted to contribute uh, to be part of uh, the developers handling that. So I. In the last meeting I had with Adeika and um, um, Emmanuel, we were talking about getting the link. And what I saw there is not it's not the website. I don't know. So I was like, I'm up, I want to ask who, who exactly is, is in charge or how do I get access to the repo so I can clone and then get to know what I should work on and all that. Do you know the name of the project you're talking about? Is it the event badging? Uh -huh, the the, the badging website yeah badging website yeah so i i think that um that that repo is not under the chaos project it's under badging so oh okay it, it's, let me let me find i'll find the repo and share it with you and i think i can also do same and you can always drop a question in um the channel as well to ask in case enoch is not available he also has like a lot of things that he's working on so sometimes um the response can be slow so um you know you can always ask on the channel so that other people that have answers to your question can you know help out as well all right so um the other one is about the uh, uh, speaking uh, volunteering to speak that you talked about is it within a uh, chaos or events that are very close or uh, okay. event organized by a uh, chaos or how how does okay uh, do, you, do you mean under this one i think my blessing maybe you can speak to that because that question should be for you sorry that was distracted just for a moment what was the question this, this question was okay, around so... the speaking opportunities like the volunteers you asked for for speaking is it just within chaos or other events. I think that was a question, right, Jacob? Oh, in and yeah, outside of yeah. chaos, but I was pretty much, okay. I was pretty much just saying that. I mean, if we have anybody within the community that would love to speak on any of those, that you could reach out to me and we would um we would discuss for them. That, that um, if that makes sense. All right. Did that answer your question? I'll reach out to you. All right, great. Yeah, yeah. I'll reach out to you. Thank you. All right. Um. Okay. So the next topic on the agenda thank you everyone for like your contributions to the conversation and i really hope that things begin to like you know improve as we keep going and no pressure actually just take it one step at a time um so the next um agenda item is the social media strategy um if we have all noticed the the social media has been pretty silent you know after our chaos con events and Oluchi um she put up like a social media strategy um worked on a social media strategy for to get the accounts back up like active um so I wanted to share it with everyone so that everyone will look at it and also give feedback uh what they think add comments on the documents and you know even call for volunteers because um then Olcha has worked on this. You also need people that can help out with creating content, um, you know, modifying the strategy to even fit into our audience and, you know, a whole lot of things. 
do i've just opened it up i have seen this before and i've given feedback so i might not be speaking here Is it just me or somebody's talking? No, nobody's talking. We are looking at the documents. <laughs> and so if you have any feedback, you can. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I have a question. I want yes. to ask about I'm going through um the badging repo and I I'm seeing um one of the open issues that's for um, implementing 404 page. So the comments there seem a bit confusing because I, I'm not sure whether it's been done or it's not done. It's at some point it was closed and, and, and under, Yeah, you can send oh, yeah, the link yeah, to it. Let me do that right away. Okay, so I would suggest that you take all of this um, questions to the dev channel so that the proper okay, okay. the appropriate people can reply you sure 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 let me do that does anyone have feedback on the social media strategy and who would love to also help all to finish this up and keep creating content for it Okay, thank you, Victoria. So I don't know if all is on this call, but if she's not, okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay. Um, so Victoria has signed up to help. Rama too. Rama too, as well. Okay, so I think you have um a couple of volunteers, but anybody feel free to drop comments on the documents because like um it's. I think it has edits access or comments access. So this is something we'll be working on to make the social media more active. We keep getting followers every um, day. Hi, but... Yeah. I know we have a spreadsheet for the communications working group, uh, Chaos, but there's also like a tab for Chaos Africa. I don't know if Olushi has seen that yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Some on... Sorry? Yeah, I think I think that was where she would have the content itself so that we are able to track what we actually posted. So it will be there, like the content will be in the spreadsheet. Well, but this okay, is more okay. like yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that's she has that. Okay, cool. Okay. Any more thoughts, concerns, ideas? Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Thank you. I think let me just write that down. People call for volunteers. Okay. Okay, so the last agenda item, we're even fast spent, not fast spent, but just 20 minutes left. So I just wanted to kind of know how people are doing, what shiny project you're working on, and also how you're contributing to chaos. Um, and it's an open conversation. Anybody can just pop up and see what you're working on. Okay, hi, everybody. Hi, Jacob. All right. Um. So I I've not been feeling fine for uh, since yesterday. I've been having a uh, headache, okay. and so I I decided to view this um this uh, developer's uh, profile up. Um, that's going to be oh, cool. Do you have a link to it? Is it live yeah. yet? Or? No, it's not live. 
Okay. I'm just building it yet, so it's not like yet. So okay. We'll so what does the profile okay. do? So it allow uh, developers to have um if you want if you are if you are looking for any developer you can actually actually get their details, their search handles, their projects, and the developer can keep updating as new things happen to okay. them and even what they are working on, just like you ask, they can keep um, adding up. So yeah. So it's like a platform to find developers I can easily find. Yeah. Them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Feel free to share it on like the Slack when you know when it's out. And this is just to let everyone know that if you're working on something, you wrote an article. Um, I know we are kind of um limited to sharing open source articles on the Twitter open source related. Um, but if you wrote something or built something or need help with something, you can always like post it on the channel. There are like a lot of people you know, with different capacities that could help. So Wow, I just I didn't know I I just published an article. I would have shared it on the group. Yeah, you can still, still share it. Yeah. You can still share it as uh, well. Uh, uh, as you can share it in the Chaos Africa channel. So even though it's not open source related, you can still share it. But if it's open right. source related, we will just cross post it on like the Twitter page. But feel free to share things that you're working on on the channel and Ask for All help. Right. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Um, we're blessing you. Have your hand raised. Um, yes, I have my hands raised, and um, it's just a concern that has been in my mind for a while. And um, also had a conversation with someone yesterday, and you know, became fresh again in my memory. And I just wanted to know, um, for people that does no code contribution to open source. Um, I know I know we could easily just say, oh, maybe they could document their learnings and all that, share with people, build in public, yada, yada, yada. Um, I mean, for them, it's easy, right? It's easy for, for, for folks to go on GitHub, see their profile and see the many green ticks and all, and uh, you could easily tell that this person is active or not. I mean, sometimes there could be some private projects, right? But that's just um, a side of the points I'm trying to make. Um, so I've been thinking, is there a way to actually still like um, get no code contributors involved with say GitHub, GitLab, and you know, it's it also like helps them get that visibility, right? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know how this is supposed to play out, but this is just something I've been thinking. That's a very good question or even concern. Um, yes, I think yesterday I was trying to, you know, gather my contributions that I've been making this year. Um, and you know, something that uh, maybe I I would use to answer this question is also tooting your horn, like sharing whatever you do on your public profile. Like for example, if I make a, if I do a talk somewhere or if I'm about to do a talk somewhere I usually like post it on my Twitter sometimes I post it on my LinkedIn or even sometimes Instagram right and those are like um, that's evidence of me doing that work right and um, I've seen people um, collate this um, evidence in quotes and put on their probably their portfolio their um, websites um, even even it being out there in the public it also it also gains that traction. I tell people that you're working on this, or like for example, you do a lot of things um in chaos, um, coordinate this project, you coordinate that project, you coordinate this. But are you talking about these things that you do um on your public platform? Because um it's true that for developers, there is always like evidence. <laughs> this way, this way. <laughs> no, are you explain about this evidence? You explain. Um, but yeah, like um, for developers, there's, there's like a footprint of their work, right? GitHub. And even for non-code contributions, if you're contributing via GitHub, that's if you're, you know, maybe changing a markdown file or you're doing something, there's evidence of you making a commit to that repository, right? Um, there's this there's this new project that I found, this new tool that I found out, Open Source Insights. 
ossinsights.io. You can go there and see, you can search up any developer and see what they have contributed. So like, for example, on search up like Ruth Kiga, right? You can see, you kind of like see stats of what that person has contributed to like their footprints of the work of the different repositories they have, you know, contributed to. So yes, yeah, sometimes even all these contributions, they're mostly non-code contributions, right? If you're using GitHub, yes. But there's also the other side of um tooting your horn or sharing this work you're doing and collating even in your resume as well, right? Even in those interviews that you recently somebody messaged me from the chaos community. I was like, okay, they got this job and you know the the work they were doing here in chaos really helped them um, you know, get that that role to so, like sharing those things even in interviews that you had spit in right i built this stuff i contributed to the success of this i coordinated this project in this community these companies were involved right so that's that's evidence of your work that's um so i don't know if that helps and if other people like have like answers to mary Basson's question you know, you know, you don't really like a questions, honestly. Because what, what was playing in my head is oh, maybe push most conversations on 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 GitHub. Like that was just playing in my head. That's an instance, anyway. Like say, um, we want to like create um a content for one of the open source series we're looking to start. Like all she has done. So now all she could just you know go on GitHub and you know share those content ideas, right? And it could be like, you know, a few persons look into it, review it, they drop the comment, you know, yeah. all of just those conversations happening there, you know, to also, also um, like, like this, whatever insights now you just shared, you know, seeing people search for them and be able to see their blueprints, I think that's the word, you know, around. Okay. Um, what, what yeah, I, I think. Yes, we have we have a repository for Chaos Africa. So it's just always forgetting that, that that repository exists, right? So maybe this would be like an action item to Oluchi to open like a, an issue on that repository, right? To track this social media strategy work and even you yourself to open an issue to track this community management engagement conversation and just always um having that that's not let me not say rule, but that's uh that everybody that wants to start up a conversation should open up an issue and then people can contribute. Because if you look at this, like this thing I shared, you see there are something there's something about issue comments. That's a valid contribution, right? It's it's a type of contribution, commenting on an issue, right? So if you see maybe that's a, that's a bit of query, but <laughs> see there are more issue comments. <laughs> Wow, well, this is new to me. I didn't know that existed. Wow. Yeah, this it's, is actually, it's, it makes it, sense. They released it too last year. And you can get, these are stats that you can get for your CV, you know, things that you're doing in, in projects and all that stuff. So yeah, you can check it out. See, shiny. It was last year they released it. It's not, not so new. This is serious. Can you add the link to the talk? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. I know, right? I know it's serious and interesting. <laughs> Very yeah. interesting. You can check out what you've been doing in open source. And it's a very, the way they built it, it's very cool. Although it's like powered by a particular oh. company. So. And let me add it. Like I'm just happy we had this conversation. This <laughs> um, slides. Okay. Does anybody want to talk about what they're working on? We just have a few more minutes. So. One more person and then we we'll wrap up the call. Yeah. Yeah, I want to speak. Can okay. you guys hear me? Yes, sure, sure. You can. Okay. Yeah, um I'm working on okay for chaos. Let me start with what I'm working on for chaos. I'm working on one issue for badging bots, actually. So do I know that? Yeah, you see what? I said that's cool. Okay, yeah, although I've not like make um any progress because um, I have a lot of things going on now, but I I want to use maybe the weekend to um try to see what I can do, and um, personally, I'm working on I'm trying to build an AI um application that summarizes um longer paragraphs to 
maybe you want like a, a seven paragraph article to be summarized to two paragraphs. So yeah, I'm working That's on that. Good. It's going to be open source. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, when it's ready, you can share it on like the Chaos Africa channel, but that, that platform will be helping. Is it I using uh this open mm -hmm. AI um so yeah, I'm using two YouTube. different models. I'm using um the AI model from Google Latex and I'm using OpenAI um, through LangChain. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Um, there are people interested in AI and definitely sure they can reach out to you. So yeah, sure. How to contribute it's an open source project, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Catherine, you raised your hand. Maybe we'll take your last and then you can close off the meeting. Um, yes. So mine is about uh, something else. I've just remembered. Um, will we eventually have an independent website for Chaos Africa? Because mm. um, I was doing just, you know, research while working on the co-pilot project, just trying to get information about Chaos Africa. But of course, it's right now, the website that we are working with is the general Chaos project. Um, and the reason why I ask is because now that as we are continuing to grow, you notice that the projects, you know, our vision, the kind of pro uh, the kind of work that we are doing is slightly different from the chaos project. Um, okay. So I don't know if that's something that we'll eventually have. Yeah, it's it's something that we can eventually have, and maybe the next developer meeting I can join to maybe talk about it. Um, but I what something I want to do is push out that event badging website before starting another one. So okay. um yeah, so yes, that's something that can definitely happen. I, I would just have to confirm with Elizabeth. But yeah. Okay. That, that's something that can happen. Like if we have the first right. to build that. And it can also be a way to engage people to build stuff as well. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, I think uh, do you want to add to the conversation as well? Um, actually, no. I have a question for Catherine on the co-pilot. I just wanted to know what the update is. Are we almost done? What's the progress report? Yes. Uh, so we're actually done with all the issues. Um, the reason I've not yet shared the deployed site is because we are making some slight changes um, with Kingsley and um, Enoch on some of the sections of the website. But once we are done with that, I'll definitely share the deployed site. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. Looking forward to that. And then even just mm -hmm. saying that this co-pilot project has been really great. And in the coming months, there are going to be like stories that will come out of it and that will read and see all the people that have been working tirelessly to um, deliver these different projects with GitHub Copilot. So excited to see that in the coming months. So yeah, um, thank you everybody for attending. This was a very productive meeting. Initially, I didn't know what to share in this meeting, but we ended up talking about a lot of things, which is really nice. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the next meeting next two weeks and to enjoy the rest of your afternoon evening morning wherever you are bye everyone thank bye, you everyone. bye bye everyone bye, bye.